Mr. Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. San Francisco has the distinction of being the second worst city for traffic congestion. And to see why, you only have to go to Harrison and Fremont, where traffic was literally at a standstill for a very long time. But the part that caught my attention was not the fact that there's traffic, because in any big city, traffic is the norm. It was the fact that because of impatient drivers and their actions, it affected the entire flow of traffic, creating something known as gridlock. First off, it's state law not to block intersections. That is to allow everyone to keep moving. But since some drivers ignore the do not block the intersection signs, it creates a domino effect. Driving is not just something you do to get from point A to point B. It requires patience and the skill to be able to calculate distance and speed. In other words, if you know you're not going to clear an intersection, then don't try. And yes, I know people will blow their horns. They do that to me. But I know that when it's all said and done, the horn blower will not be the one to pay the $300 ticket. This AC transit bus was stuck for one whole complete cycle because the drivers on Harrison were blocking the intersection. Another problem is people using the bus lane as a shortcut, then cutting in at the last moment. Most, if not all, these drivers are trying to get to the East Bay. But on Harrison, there are only two lanes to the bridge. Yet everyone in the straight lane will try to merge into the two lanes at the last moment. Now I have to admit, many of the roads in San Francisco were not meant to handle the onslaught of rush hour traffic. But thoughtless, careless drivers exacerbate the problem. And that is the reason why San Francisco came in second place for the worst traffic in America. First place was Los Angeles. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.